The interior design of the 2025 G6 stays pretty much the same as before. Compared to its big brother, the G9, this budget-friendly compact electric SUV misses a few features. No co-pilot infotainment screen, no soft closed doors, no built-in fragrance system, and surprisingly, no glove box. Oh, and the space is a bit smaller too. But honestly, even with all that, it still looks pretty good to me. The steering wheel is exactly the same as the G9's, and the button quality is pretty solid. But here's the thing, Xpeng still isn't offering a head-up display to their customers, even though it's basically become a standard feature in China's auto industry these days. Now, let's talk about the sound system. In the G9, you've got these cool auto-rising speakers on the dashboard. Pretty fancy, right? In the G6, you won't see anything like that. I'm pretty sure the hardware is different from the G9, but I'm not a sound expert. Maybe you guys can leave a comment and let me know if it's really worse than the G9 system. Unlike BYD's Yang Wang U7, the dashboard here doesn't have any touch functionality. And since there's no head-up display, all the driving info and the senior interface are shown right on this screen. Apart from that, the two control stocks under the steering wheel work exactly the same as on the G9, which means they can reuse parts to save on design, manufacturing, and inventory costs. I think Xpeng made the right move here to stay competitive and, honestly, the results speak for themselves. One of the biggest mistakes they made early on was developing a separate chassis for each model. They wanted the project teams to compete with each other, but that turned out to be a disaster. It drove up costs in every direction and wasted a ton of money on a strategy that just didn't work. All the window glass is laminated with a gel layer in the middle to help block outside noise. And VH is one of the key features that Chinese consumers really care about. Unlike traditional ICE vehicles, the brake pedal in the G6 can be pressed down easily even when the car isn't started. In a typical gas-powered car, you usually only get one soft press before the brake pedal stiffens up if the engine's off. There are two wireless charging panels installed on the central console, both featuring cooling systems and capable of activating advanced wireless charging for my Samsung S2. The one on the left has an NFC logo, which means you can place your keycard on it to start the car. Like many other features, wireless charging panels have become ubiquitous in China's electric vehicles. The central storage box is quite deep, but it's not wide enough. If you've packed a lot of stuff in there, it can be hard to find what you need, especially if it's at the bottom. On the central console screen, you can slide the bar to either side to enlarge the map or the senior interface. It probably looks familiar, right? As one of Porsche's executives once said, good design always seems to have a certain tacit understanding. In the system settings, I switched the language to English to make it easier for you to recognize all the features. The system looks exactly the same as the G9, another benefit of their shared chassis platform. You wouldn't believe that before the shared chassis strategy, Xpeng's G3, P7, and P5 all ran different operating systems. They needed three separate teams to develop and maintain three different operating systems. Unbelievable, right? If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button to support us. We'll bring you more in-depth looks at China's most cutting-edge electric vehicles, showing you just how fast and amazing the auto industry is evolving here.
As we are going through all system settings, let's dive into the 2025 Xpeng G6 and exploring what's new compared to the previous model. First off, let's talk about the exterior. The 2025 G6 sports a sleek, full-width LED light bar at the front giving it a more modern and aggressive look. The rear has also been updated with a new ducktail spoiler, replacing the previous pop-up design, which not only enhances the aesthetics but also improves rear visibility. Moving inside, the cabin has seen significant upgrades. The infotainment system now features a larger 15.6-inch central display and a 10.5-inch digital instrument cluster, both powered by a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 to 9 5P processor. The front seats now come with heating, ventilation, and massage functions, adding a touch of luxury that was missing in the previous model. Under the hood, the G6 has made a leap from 3C to 5C ultra-fast charging. This means you can now charge from 10% to 80% in just 12 minutes, a significant improvement over the previous model's 20-minute charge time. On the tech front, Xpeng has introduced its Turing AI Intelligent Driving System as a standard feature. This system replaces the previous LiDAR-based setup with a vision-based solution, relying on cameras and radars to navigate, which simplifies the hardware and reduces costs. Lastly, let's talk about pricing. The starting price of the 2025 G6 is 11.56% lower than its predecessor, making it more accessible to a broader range of customers. This price drop, combined with the new features, led to over 5,000 orders within the first seven minutes of its launch. Now, let's talk about what's been fueling Xpeng's impressive sales growth lately. One of the most important reasons, I assume, is their new lineup. Xpeng has been rolling out some exciting models like the P7 Plus and the Mona M03. These vehicles are not only stylish, but also packed with advanced features, and they're hitting the market at competitive prices. The Mona M03, for instance, starts at around $16,800, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious buyers. The P7 makes a significant space improvement inside. Now, everyone can sit comfortably in the second row. These two new economic models capture a lot of budget-tight customers to boost their sales. Next up, their tech game is strong. Xpeng's Turing AI Intelligent Driving System is a game-changer. It offers advanced autonomous driving capabilities without relying on expensive LiDAR sensors, which helps keep costs down while still delivering top-notch performance. They're also expanding globally. Xpeng has opened dealerships in the UK, including locations in Southampton and Nottingham, and plans to add 20 more across the country. This international presence is helping them tap into new markets and reach more customers. Strategic partnerships are playing a role too. Their collaboration with Volkswagen is a big deal, allowing them to co-develop new electric models and share technology, which enhances their offerings and market reach. Lastly, government incentives and market trends are in their favor. Supportive policies promoting electric vehicle adoption, along with a growing consumer preference for sustainable transportation, have created a favorable environment for Xpeng's growth. It's weird that the system can execute English voice commands. I set it to display what it hears, and it seems like my English accent isn't that bad. It recognized all the words accurately. So, I'm starting to think the smart cabin features might be different from those in the G9. Hi, Xiao Pi. Open all windows. Xiao Pi. Close all windows. 
小 P， 在呢。Turn off air conditioner。小 P， 在了。Turn on air conditioner。Hi, Xiao Pi. 来了来了。Turn off air conditioner. Xiao Pi 有点迷糊了，要不试试换个说法呢？你好，小 P。我在呢。关闭全部车窗。好的。关闭空调。空调已经关闭了哦。打开空调。空调打开了。Now, let's move to the second row. The space is pretty good with plenty of legroom, but other than that, there isn't much to mention. No screen, no seat heating or cooling, and definitely no massage function. The seat recline is fixed, and the foldable armrest only has Q folders, no control panel, no wireless charging pad. If you want more comfort, you'll have to pay extra for the G9. The rear doors also come with digital unlock buttons. At first, I couldn't find the safety door lock backup lever, but after taking a closer look at the panel, I noticed a small difference. After fumbling around with it for a bit, I finally opened the small cover and found the pull ring to unlock the door. Just like the G9, there are several ultrasonic sensors and at least two cameras at the rear, one for the 360 degree view and another for autonomous driving. The tailgate is powered, so anyone can easily open and close it by pressing the button. 
As a vehicle designed with women in mind, this is a must-have feature. The hidden storage space under the trunk is pretty decent. You can fit a lot of things in there. But personally, I'm not a fan of this setup. Once you pack the trunk, you can't access the hidden space unless you remove everything on top of it. It's really a hassle, especially on a road trip. I'd much rather remove the cover and make it one big space to fit all my luggage. Just like its big brother, the G9, the G6 has dropped the LiDAR system. The spots where the sensors used to sit right below the headlights have now been replaced with decorative panels. It looks cleaner, but yeah, no more LiDAR. Xpeng is now following Tesla's lead, going all in on pure vision-based autonomous driving. 